you know what? Let me just say something right now. Your hoe is back, okay? I'm back and I'm better. <laughs> and I hope it's back, okay? <laughs> so before I get started, I wanna go ahead and do some Negro splatting real quick because uh, I know I've been MIA, but let me tell y'all right now, I'm in school and school is something serious, work has been something serious, and sis been slacking on this Smile Direct journey, like for real. So last video, I was telling you guys that I was thinking about quitting because I'm irresponsible. Well, this story is going to prove just how irresponsible I have been. So, I've been slacking on my Smile Direct Club journey just because where I work, I like to like chew gum. I like to keep mints in my mouth. I just like to do a lot. I'm a fat bitch. And it's just a lot you cannot do with these retainers or these aligners in. And like my last aligner session, or my last training was, was so painful. I went from Sunday to Wednesday with the same amount of pain. And normally by Tuesday, my mouth feels okay. So I ended up taking that tray out. And then it was like a juggle for the next two to three weeks of me like trying to stick through that tray. Like I don't know if it was my teeth. I don't know if that tray wasn't cut right, but that tray was bringing me so much pain and discomfort. Normally my top tray would be uncomfortable because of course that's where I had the gaps, that's where I had the problem. Uh, it's it's going to be a lot of pressure there. But it got to the point where my bottom tray was just so irritating. Like, all my inner teeth was, like, tingling, numbing feeling, pain. It was just annoying as hell. So, I've been battling back and forth with that tray. One day, I just woke up and I was like, you know what? You're going to take it seriously. You're going to deal with this pain, whatever you spend money for or whatever. So, I'm going around. And normally, I keep my current aligners in the purple case in my bag, in my work bag or whatever. So I'm cleaning up the house. I'm throwing out the old aligners I know, like one month, two months ain't gonna deal. So I seen in my little denture cleaning case, like where I clean my aligners at, I seen some aligners in there. So I just assumed they were old and I threw them in like a trash bag. I was like, oh, these are old. I got in the car. I was like, okay, after I eat breakfast, I'm gonna get to school, brush my teeth, and I'm gonna put in my new aligners or my original aligners and try to rock it out for a whole week. You know, I'm gonna stick to this. Got to school and I seen like there's no aligners in the cup or in the holder. So I was like, of course, the ones I threw away in my little denture cleaning case, those are the ones. No big deal. It was a fresh trash bag, whatever. But mind you, early that morning, <laughs> me and my boyfriend, like I got into it with them kind of sorta. Cause it was another bag of trash. And I was like, this bag of trash should have went out yesterday. It had like some food in there. We done cooked. I was like, this should have went out yesterday. I've been telling you to take out trash. Yada, 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 you know. And he was just like, baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was like, so my mom, I said, you know what? Don't do it. I do it when I get off of work. I got to do it myself. Don't worry about it. I'll take the trash out. So that was that, the little trash bill. But that was also the same day I decided to start my second job. So not only was I not home by 5 p.m. like normally, I went to my second job directly after work from school and I didn't get home until midnight, okay? When I got home, I was like, oh, it's something on your mind. There's something on your mind, but what is it? You know, it's been the whole day. You can't remember. So I just see my boo. We sit on the couch, watch the TV, and something just jumped into me like, oh, you ain't take the trash out, did you? Yeah, baby, you know I took the trash out for you. When I tell you, a sis went all college, was like, I told you, I've been begging you to take this trash out. For two days, this morning, I told you not to take it out. I was going to take it out. He was like, baby, I feel bad for not taking the trash out. So I took it out for you, yada, yada, yada. And I was just like, my freaking aligners in there. And he was like, why you ain't called me? And I was like, you know what? I should have called him. But I forgot I was not expecting to take the trash out. And then when I went to my second job, I just simply forgot all about me throwing with that line. And it was in like his own bag. Like what the heck? So I was like, you know what? We're going to go to the dumpster. We're going to get that liner because that bag is nice and dirty. If anything, we could just order something. It had like packaging paper in the bag with it. But that bag, I'm getting my aligner bag. Yeah, I'm a filthy hoe. 
So I'm like, we're about to go to this dumpster store. You're about to look in there and get my line of bed. I told you not to take this trash out. You took it out anyway. He was like, well, I just took it out probably like 10 o'clock. So I was like, okay, it's on time. It out. I was like, you know what? We're going out there and you're going to look in that trash can. And you're going to get that trash back. You're going to get my liner out, right? So I get in my car, I speed off because you're moving too slow. And I bought me a broom to pull the trash. In my mind, our apartment complex trash is like a compact. Hope would be lost, but most of the time our people, like our groundskeeper people and the people who work here, they come back to trash through the day, throughout the day. But in the end, it gets so piled up when they get off of work. And mostly it's like people just put their trash around it and they'll get to it to like compacting it in the morning. So I was thinking hopefully it's full like any other time, not compacted, like any other time and it's right by the side of the trash can. So I pull up to the trash can, my boyfriend behind me in his car, kind of stormed off, right? So I get up there, I'm like, yeah, you don't take out the trash when I need you to, why well, I don't need you to, you taking out the trash, you know, fussing, right? He behind me, right? So I tell you, I just walk up the stairs to the trash of the compact. I'm fussing. I got my broomstick. Turn on that flashlight. Ah, I mean, scream. Got back in my car. Put that thing back on two wheels. Got back in the apartment. Whole time I'm running to the car. I hear him like, baby, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? So I get to the apartment. Mind you, our apartment's like right there. So he pulls up behind me. What's wrong? What's wrong? So I'm just going up the stairs mad. I get in the house. He was like, what's wrong? He was a possum in there, wasn't he? I'm just like. This is so funny. But when I tell y'all I was furious, he was like, it was a possum in there. And I was just looking at him like. When I tell y'all, it's a big ass possum. The reason why he knew that it was a possum in there, because there's possums everywhere around my apartment. Like you would see a possum, like you would see a pet, like you would see a freaking possum. I was just like, yes, it was a possum in there. Okay. Not only was the trash freshly compacted, as soon as I turned on the flashlight, it was a big ass possum, like right in my face. Who was mute the whole night? Sis was mute the whole night. My, I had a long day. I threw away my liner. I called myself first out of my boo. The possum smiled in my face. I was not happy. So that next day, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to see if I can advance to the next tray. I could not. My teeth was not having it because I wasn't wearing my previous tray the right way. So it was no way I was going to deal with this new tray. But I still carried it with me. I still took it to work. I still, like, every blue moon, I would try it, but it would feel so tight. Like, I felt like my teeth are going to get too loose while well, I'll just take it out. But by me playing with it for a week or two, by the end of that week, I lost that tray set, too. I believe I went to lunch, wrapped it up in a napkin, and threw it away by accident. So I lost that tray set, too. So after that, I was just pissed off. And I was like, you know what? I give up on Smile the Red Club. Then... I look at my account and you know they still taking that little seventy five dollars out. So I was just like, "Honey, you might need to do something because you're gonna have to pay them, but yet yeah, you're still gonna be walking around looking crazy as hell." So I decided to call them and I'm just like, "Hey, um, what's your policy for missing aligners?" And she was like, "What? What month or what train you missing?" I'm just like, "Well, I did lose that one train. The possum got it, and then my other train I lost because I lost it." So. I need about two trays. And she was like, what trays were they? Like, what week? And I was like, it was three month, week two, and then three month, week three and four is combined into that one tray. And she was like, well, we could see the whole month for $99. And I was just like, honey, deal. So now I'm currently waiting for my trays to come in. It takes 10 to 15 days. That was about five days ago when I called. So I still got in my old month three, week one tray because I'm trying to keep it together for my new trays to come in. Things I noticed, well, other than this tray deteriorating in my damn mouth, <laughs> like, and that's on me because I don't have my tray to advance, but every blue moon, you know, got to spit out little plastic particles. My molars is basically... It's nothing covering up my molars because they're just all grinded to hell, basically. But that's on me. But I don't know. Like, at this point, I feel like my gap is like, ain't nobody hold me down like P. Diddy. Because my teeth, like, I can see the shape of the tray. And it's like my gap is little. And when I put it in, I can just see my tooth like, yeah, we just going to sit right where the hell we want to sit at. And I'm like, you know what? 
this gap is like heavy duty because it's not playing with these aligners. These aligners don't have no more strength to put up with them. So I'm really looking forward to my new trays to come in. But when it comes to like noticing any difference, like the only thing is like one of my, um, what is this? Incisors. One of my incisors, like to begin with, I do have a gap, but one of my incisors is like tilted up. Like if I go like this, I can feel the one that's kind of tilted up. And that one tends to be a little loose. Like when I bite something, like I always notice like all my teeth feeling like, oh no, you can't eat no corn. You can't bite into no apple. But now that since I've been slacking or whatever, or I don't know what to call it, this tube is the only tube that feels a little like loose. And if I put my finger in like, I don't try to wiggle it too much because I don't want to be loose, but I can feel like if I put a little pressure, I can feel like a little something, something, you know what I'm saying? Just a little something, something. So now I'm like, oh Lord, big tube loose. Like I just need some new aligners. And my bottom teeth just seemed like they were so straight before. Like they were so straight. I had like maybe a little, what's this, underbite, but it was so straight. And now it's like those four down here are like, you can see the different levels of height with them. But I don't know if that's because the overbite or underbite is coming like back. So now I can see the different levels of height. I don't know. But I'm just ready for my new aligners to come in so I can do this the right way. So. I don't have to worry about it. But one thing I have been enjoying that I haven't really talked about in the other videos is the tooth whitening, mm, is the teeth whitening system that they give you. Like the little bright system, like you put it in your mouth. Hold on, I'm about to go get it. So this system here, what is the bright orange system? So I've been drinking a lot of coffee lately because school started, like, of course I work straight through the summer, but now like the official year has started like it's hard for me to push through so i've been noticing like a little tip to my teeth like i hate yellow teeth like i hate them like that's my pet peeve like my teeth has not my teeth have always been messed up as in aesthetically but i do not play with brushing or yellow teeth i just see people with perfect teeth i'll be like oh my god if i had them teeth i would brush them okay like you ungrateful so i started seeing like little stains on my teeth and i was like i would brush them by whitening toothpaste and i'm like you know what my teeth got like a little tint like it's not passing a little the little uh tissue tip. so you can put this adapter into your iphone so one day i got off of work and i was just like you know what i'm gonna pop this in my mouth while i take my dog for a walk so I set the timer for like 10 minutes, took it for a 10 minute walk. When I came back, I was like, okay, let me take this out. And I was just shocked because when I looked in the mirror, my teeth were so white. They were so beautiful. I was just like, oh my God, this really works. And I'm just like, why have I been using this? Why haven't I told people about this? I think I used it when I first got it, but my teeth weren't stained. Like, like I said, I'm really big about white teeth. So they weren't stained, so I guess I couldn't really tell the difference. But this time I was like, oh my God, look at this. Like, look at my mouth. Like, like I felt so cute so I just wanted to tell y'all about this this shit really worked no I'm not lying and they're not paying me for this either this really works this is a wonder tool but anywho y'all I gotta get ready to go to work for real for real. I gotta walk out the door so to make the long story short I'm a loser but I'm back on it I'm back on it thanks for everybody checking on me I'm still gonna stick through with Smile Red Club and I'm gonna take it way more serious this time once I get my new tray if you guys are thinking about starting your Smile Red Club journey please look at my description bar below and I have a link where you guys can get $150 off off your overall starter up kit and I can get $150 off for referring you and I need help with this little $75 bill because assistance broke, okay? But thank y'all. Love y'all. I'm going to start being more consistent. Bye.